I'm here with the owner of the casting website and entrepreneur Robert Earnshaw. Please welcome Robert. Hi Robert. You run the casting website. What exactly is the casting website? The casting website is the largest directory of young actors under the age of 25 in the UK. Um, we provide young actors um, who don't necessarily have professional experience or agents the opportunity to apply for some of the leading uh, casting calls and uh, auditions that are out in the UK market today. What tasks do you do on a daily basis? What tasks do I do? Um, it's changed considerably since starting up the casting website. Uh, obviously starting up a, a business, um, I, I was young, I was only 19 years old and uh, I just had a, an idea to try and help promote young talent in the UK. And my first task was literally just trying to rile up lots and lots of interest and convince um, young people that I was, uh, I was wanting to provide them a service that, uh, that would benefit their careers. And the day-to-day -day task was literally just trying to sell my idea to people. Uh, as the company's grown and grown and grown, uh, my tasks seem to get more mundane, to be honest. Uh, and I have to make sure that I delegate um, certain areas of, of, of the business to, to my employees. Uh, and my task is pretty much like a conductor um, yeah. in, a, in an orchestra. Just got to oversee everything and make sure that the, uh, that the, the business is running smoothly. You used to be an actor, so what inspired you to build up the casting website? What made me change is I realised that I wasn't a very good actor. <laughs> uh, now, I wouldn't say I was an actor. No, I used to have a passion in drama, uh, and I used to love being on stage, and I used to love performing. Uh, and I was very fortunate to be part of uh, many youth theatres as, uh, as a young person. That really helped build my confidence and really helped me um, discover who I was as a person. Um, but unfortunately, I wasn't very good at acting, so I, uh, I decided I was going to try and help promote others', others talents rather than, uh, rather than my own. You were named as one of the Guardian Observer's Future 500. Can you tell me a bit more about that? I was, uh, I was very proud when uh, uh, I uh, won that award. Um, I actually, it's something that you're meant to enter yourself, but actually a couple of the actors through the casting website submitted my, my profile forward for it. Uh, and then I was sent an email to ask, asking me for some more information about my business, what I'm trying to do, what I can see happening in the future. And uh, I, I got an email saying that my name would be pa uh, published in the paper saying that I was part of the Observer 500. Um, and that basically what that means is um, I'm now part of a network of young entrepreneurs like myself. Uh, we get together every six months down in London or in other venues and uh, we just discuss ideas, have a lot of food, a lot of wine and uh, just uh, enjoy <laughs> ourselves really. And what are the advantages of working for yourself? The advantages of working for myself, um, now I'm quite stubborn <laughs> and I, uh, um, I believe I'm, I'm determined to always do the best of what I can do and I, I feel working for somebody else um, and I have to admit, the only time I've ever worked with somebody else is when I worked behind a bar for about six months when I was, uh, when I was, uh, when I was 18. Um, I was always wanting to input ideas and I was always wanting to, to show how we can develop, um, even if it was just a bar, how we can in increase sales or how we can improve customer satisfaction. And uh, I just decided that I was so determined to try and help young performers that actually running a company by myself uh, or, or setting something up by myself, I'd be able to always implement my own ideas and always do what I thought was best. Um, and the big advantage is having that freedom. Now the question is, what are the disadvantages of working for yourself? Or the challenges, so to speak, yeah. The what challenges. challenges? Um, the, the challenges are getting yourself up in the morning sometimes. And the reason I say that is because you've gone to bed at about six in the morning, so you've got three hours sleep. Um, but it's something you do because you're so passionate about making your own business work that you will put those, um, those hours in. And the challenges are, you, especially when you've reached the size that I've, I've reached recently, uh, where I'm employing people, the challenges are waking up in the morning thinking, we've got to, uh, we've got to do well, we've got to not only keep our clients happy and, and make sure that the, the people I'm trying to help are happy, but I've got to make sure the business is running smoothly because I've got a responsibility for three other people's lives, them paying their rent, them paying their, their mortgage, feeding their kids. And uh, 
uh, it is stressful at times. Can you give me a list of success stories that you've had? Um, my favourite success stories are, um, for example, a young lad who, um, who is from, from a, a poor area of London, a poor area of East London, uh, uh, came to us. I, I saw him. He's a fantastic singer, fantastic dancer, so I put him in front of a, a lovely casting director called Pippa Alien. Uh, and uh, he went from doing no, no acting to all of a sudden performing in a West End show, Spring Awakening. That's one of my favourite success stories. We've had people in the obvious, like the Holby Cities, EastEnders, Casualties, um, right up to recently a, a young lad has just uh, played the supporting lead of Andrew Easton in a new Spielberg film. Um, so it is great and uh, it makes the, the sleepless nights an awful lot <laughs> more worthwhile <laughs> when you get a phone call from someone saying thank you. And what have you got planned for the future with the casting website? How are you going to grow it? Now that will be telling, <laughs> but what I strive to do every day, every day I'm waking up thinking what we, can we do to in increase the chances of our young people um, getting to where they want to be in this industry. So we've got several different things that I'm looking for, uh, whether it's um, providing new training facilities or providing easier, easier methods for young people to be able to promote themselves or even something as simple as providing cost-effective headshots. Um, we're always thinking of new ideas, we're always um, thinking of new ways to, to improve the chances of, our, of the young people we're in contact with and uh, I'm very excited at the moment for the, for the future. If you're going to leave this world today, what, would, what statement would you leave or what would you leave, leave on your Facebook status? Um, part of me says it's been emotional. <laughs> But I think it's something I always tell myself every morning, and that's treat people with the same respect you wish to be treated yourself. Thank you very much for your time, Rob. It's okay. Pleasure. <laughs>